This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Alright, let's see where this will take us today, oh boy. Rookies should stick to moving in pairs. You better know what you're doing if you want to work alone. I'm quoting a professional detective, but the words are generally applicable. When you're tailing someone, a pair is less conspicuous than a single shadow. I guess, depending. What's up, Flor or Florin? How you doing? Of course, that can change depending on the circumstances. In most cases, though, one stone-faced guy glaring at your back is going to inspire more caution than two idiots who happen to be following the same road. I guess there's some wisdom to that. Even the best international agents usually use a male and a female pair. A single tail isn't unheard of, but it demands significantly greater skill and experience. <laughs> hey, Sachi, what's up? A major part of the challenge is that some people are simply more wary than others. As we've just seen, your target may turn and look behind them at completely unpredictable moments. Which means that when you're shadowing someone, especially solo, perception and anticipation are the most crucial elements of success. <laughs> I saw that, Yumiko! <laughs> it's the slide! <laughs> Incidentally, on this particular tailing mission, I've got a tail of my own. She seems to think it's going well, but I noticed her unwavering stare as soon as I left the dorm. Being observed isn't really a problem in itself, but I should probably make things clear before she starts developing any unfounded self-confidence. <laughs> Is she mad at us because of the horrible pranks that people pulled on, pulled on her last stream? I didn't have any part of that. I didn't do it. <laughs> it was the others. Sakaki, if you've got something to say, feel free. Anytime. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much from the second I left the dorm. I saw you sliding onto the screen multiple times. <laughs> Sakaki's eyes widened in surprise. Seems she did indeed have some misguided pride in her attempt at stealth. Why are you following me around? <laughs> it's not stalking if the person you're stalking is stalking someone else. <laughs> if you stalk a stalker, they cancel each other out, right? I see. So that's how she wants to play this. Alright, Sakaki. I think we all know that there's a greater mystery here. Why are you outside? <laughs> wow. No worries. Just a little friendly joke between classmates. Yeah, that, that can hit a little low. Sakaki shakes her head in exasperation. Look, it's no secret that Yuji is kind of creeping on uh, Sachi. Let's see. My favorite food? Baked beans. <laughs> you know what? It, it's unusual, but hey, that's very practical. If your favorite food happens to be baked beans, you're going to get your favorite food a lot. Sakaki's voice grows unusually loud with irritation. Keep it down. Sachi's going to notice us. Hmm. The reason I'm tailing Sachi, is it? Pretty much just felt like it. <laughs> That's not creepy or anything. <laughs> and my response, Sakaki silently begins to dial a number on her cell phone. <laughs> Do me a favor and refrain from calling the cops. I'd really like to avoid dealing with a certain cantankerous old codger, if at all possible. Yeah, that... that... <laughs> <laughs> that un that cop stole my Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I think back a little way, trying to come up with some sort of a reason for my behavior. Sadly, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> what was with that line? <laughs> was that to like his trail of thought? I happened to see Sachi heading out, and I got a little curious. That's all I've got to say. Sorry. Well, you know, my favorite TV show isn't on anymore, so... Gotta find some other way to pass the time. Uh, don't worry, though. It's not like I'm a, an obsessed stalker. Uh, don't have a life-size Sachi poster in my room or anything. You can check. What? That was a very suspicious detail you threw in there. <laughs> I'd rather die than give up my life-size Princess Peach poster! <laughs> If I'd happened to see you heading out instead, I probably would be tailing you right about now. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You're not making yourself look less creepy, Yuji. And Sachi's just like, what are you two talking about? While I've been talking to Sakaki, Sachi's been steadily moving farther ahead. We're getting separated from her. Come on, time to move. I charge off in pursuit. Sakaki follows in my wake. Oh, now we're both stalking her. Maybe she's just going on a walk, enjoying the sea view. Come on. Leaving the area surrounding the school, Sachi heads in the general direction of the station. She doesn't seem to have caught on for the moment. <laughs> You're a little close there, Yumiko. A male-female pair is efficient and inconspicuous for covert surveillance missions. You're already familiar with how tricky it is to shadow someone by yourself, aren't you? <laughs> it's very true. Hmm. Sakaki seems even grumpier than usual today. I wonder why. But judging from the fact that she hasn't simply stalked off back to the school, it seems she's surprisingly weak against pushy tactics. Just where is she going, anyway? Maybe she's going to the supermarket. Yeah! She's, she's buying Girl Scout cookies. I see. A supply mission, is it? It seems Sakaki has a decently observant eye in her own right. Meanwhile, Sachi has stopped to speak with someone she met in the street. Oh, Sachi's gotta be the person who, like, knows everybody. Aww. <laughs> you don't need to shop for them! If Kingdom Hearts Free taught me anything, it's you can find ingredients just lying out. And just wait for Donald Duck to mention it. I knew it! Ooh. I do love me some chicken. <laughs> Who's that girl going down the street? It's Sachi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she really does know everyone. Good for you! <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Don't ask, Sachi. <laughs> she does know everyone! <laughs> it takes Sachi like 50 minutes to walk one mile to get to the grocery store just because everybody stops. It's like, oh, it's Sachi! How you doing? <laughs> How's Odie doing? <laughs> hey, Marty, what's up? Delivery Man is your favorite character. I wonder if we'll see more of him. <laughs> Before him all, it becomes apparent that virtually everyone Sachi passes in the street has some sort of friendly greeting for her. What's with this bizarre phenomenon? It's because she she's a good Samaritan. I had no idea Sachi was such a celebrity in the town. Mm, Alright. The same impression. That's very true. True enough. More reasons why Sachi's the best. I see. You know, considering how uninterested you always claim to be, you're a pretty observant one. <laughs> I see that blush. Alright, we'll leave it at that. I didn't know you had a little brother living in town. His name is Energetic Kid. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> don't let your kids play with Naughty Kid. It'll spread. Even after arriving at the shopping district, Sachi's encounter rate is as high as ever. What? What? <laughs> they have their own language? How's it going, Vaza? <laughs> Sakaki, please explain this as well. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, all right. I assumed the renowned classmate researcher, Professor Sakaki, would have some insights on the matter. What is going on? <laughs> For some reason, they're getting really excited. <laughs> Watch Yuji make this be like, I must crack this code of the language. It's nothing like anything I'm familiar with, unfortunately. <laughs> it's nerf or nothing. I know, that's a pretty great slogan. <laughs> hey, by the way, Yumiko, this is where I almost got killed by free goons. <laughs> Mumbling something to herself, Sakaki draws gradually closer to Sachi. Watch it, Sakaki! Get any closer and she's going to notice us! <laughs> you just got included on the stockathon. Now you worry about that? Talk about a delayed reaction. Well, I guess you could say Sachi's pretty impressive in a way, to have so completely caught up perpetually unenthusiastic Sakaki's interests. Or Sachi's pretty impressive. <laughs> She just held an entire conversation in gibberish. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> that smile does not fit Yumiko at all. What the heck? Hmm, I wonder what's for dinner tonight. <laughs> I hope it's French toast. Most likely. Hmm. <laughs> now she's really into the stalking, too. Yeah. When exactly did our roles in this operation get so thoroughly reversed? Yumiko's best girl. Yumiko's growing on me. Having finished her shopping in the supermarket, Sachi begins to walk back toward the school, a satisfied expression on her face. Seems this is all she had planned for this particular expedition. Well, as expected, she didn't pull anything too out of the ordinary in the supermarket. So? <laughs> oh no, Sachi's, Sachi's the kind of girl who has to listen to all of the Costco employees giving out free samples in their spiels. Takes her two hours to get for Costco. Sakaki's voice has a usual tinge of exasperation, but her facial expression is somewhat relieved. <laughs> hmm? We're going back to the same place, aren't we? If you need help carrying anything, I can tag along. <laughs> She's like, no! <laughs> oh boy, as a matter of fact, no, I don't want to be famous. As a matter of fact, I don't want to be famous so much, I'm going to ban you. Boom. Man, there's... Is there a way to turn those off? Seriously. Sakaki fires off an instant response, leaving no room for discussion. Alright, take care. Whoa! <laughs> Indeed, wow. Where did, when did Yumiko become a happy individual? With a few words of deadpan sarcasm, Sakaki walks off on her own. Alright, I suppose I'll just finish my surveillance of Sachi by myself. Watch Sachi be like, I knew you were there the whole time. When I turn my attention back to the maid in question, she's walking alone while peeking down in the, to the bag she's holding in both hands. Doesn't look like she's paying attention to where she's going. Uh-oh. As soon as the words are out of my mouth, Sachi bumps her shoulder against someone, sending the contents of her bag scattering across the ground. Well then, any way you look at it, we've got a classmate in distress here. <gasps> we act. We actually get a freaking decision! I can't believe it! We actually get to make a choice in this game! I've heard rumors and legends about dialogue options, but I had never gotten one before! <laughs> 
Oh, I wonder if this actually does branch off. Well, I want to do the Sachi route first, so I'm assuming help Sachi would lead towards that. We're helping Sachi. Plus, it's it's the gentlemanly thing to do. Okay, I think that's enough tailing for one day. Discontinuing my covert survey, once I run up to Sachi's side... You alright, Sachi? Ooh! This is pretty music. Save the banter for later. Let's get your veins off the ground. I think we've picked up all the obvious stuff. You missing anything? Yay! Good. No, you... No. No. <laughs> I saved your... I helped you pick up groceries. That does not amount to saving your life. <laughs> you saved my life, Kazumi-san. Will you go out with me? <laughs> Sachi root. Uh, no. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. A disappointed expression on her face, Sachi shifts the bags in her hands. Something inside catches my eye. Hey, that canned food. Hmm? It also seems to have cat food written on the side. Are you really planning to make a meal out of that? It's probably for... It's probably for Michiru's cat. I see. Look, it's not like I have the best eating habits myself, so I don't want to say too much about other people's diets. But voluntarily eating pet food? That seems a bit over the top. It's, it's gonna be for Kitty Meow. I'm glad it was a misunderstanding, but please stop talking like I'm the one responsible for the confusion. So, if not you, who will be eating that cat food? Yeah. Didn't you know, or I didn't know you had a pet, Sachi? As if at a loss for an answer, Sachi closes her eyes in thought. Sachi's the kind of girl who would just feed the stray cats in the street. And just like that, she turns and begins to walk away. Like, she'd go out of her way to buy food for the cats that are in the street. Guess this means I'm supposed to follow her? After entering a dead-end alley off the main road, Sachi takes a few steps then squats down to the pavement. Aww! That actually sounded more like a cat sound. A kitten begins to whine loudly in response to her presence. I see. So this is the recipient of the cat food? Aww. In other words, the local kids are usually looking after it, so it's not really her pet. That still doesn't sound that much like a cat, but it's better than Kitty Meow's sounds. There doesn't seem to be any visible problems with its health, but it can't hurt to take a quick look. Mind if I examine its physical condition for a moment? <laughs> That's right. I'm kind of... Well, I mean, guys do hit on Sachi, to be fair, but was mostly just um, Yuji. Because he's the one guy at the school. I think most of the guys in this town are either little kids or already married, so hitting on her would be weird. No, can't say that I am, but I should be able to tell if it's healthy or not. A long time ago, when I had a pet dog, my master taught me how to perform a basic checkup of an animal's health. <laughs> Receiving the kitten from Sachi, I began a simple palpitation of its body. Pal palpation. That's a weird word. Even when you're dealing with a very small animal, if there's something seriously wrong with its body, the pulse and movements of its internal organs will always tell you as much. Hmm. Seems to be in decent shape. Incidentally, the most common mistake people make when raising kittens is inducing diarrhea. People tend to give them milk during the weaning period, but... Many kittens don't produce that much of the enzyme needed to break down lactose. If their diet is too heavy on dairy, it'll cause severe indigestion. Sometimes they'll even weaken and die if you don't get them treated. It's true, cow milk is not the best for cats. You should probably teach the kids that much if they don't know already. As she speaks, Sachi gently strokes the kitten's head. From her behavior and body language, it's clear that Sachi is quite fond of the animal. Have you considered taking the kitten in yourself? You know, keeping it in the dorm? 
It's okay, Mitru has one, so you're good. Well, I guess that's not surprising. On the other hand, they're generally pretty lax on enforcing that sort of rule, you know? As long as none of the others have an allergy or whatever, I doubt anyone's going to complain if you're a little selfish for once. She's not going to take that well, is she? Matter of fact, Makina's keeping a crawfish in her room at the moment. That's true! I forgot about that! Like, literally half the people have a pet. <laughs> if you're interested in the idea, I could try talking to the principal directly and... I mean, it's, it's a very good idea to not be selfish. Hmm? Alright. Well, Sachi, are you speaking about your past right now? Most likely. A bad girl, eh? I guess a class representative should try to be cautious about following the rules, but I think Sachi's true feelings are probably different. I wonder if Sachi was, like, the, the bad girl, like, the rebel back in the day, and now she's trying to, like, atone. <laughs> Animals are mysterious, Fanes. No matter how indifferent you are at first, spend a little time with one and you'll find yourself naturally getting attached. That's something I've experienced personally in the past. Let me change the question. Forget everything else, Sachi. Would you like to keep the kitten as a pet if you could? Just as Sachi averts her eyes from mine in hesitation, a young boy runs noisily into the alley. <laughs> Sachi is like the honorary big sister of a lot of the kids in town. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Boo! Kitty gets a home. <laughs> yeah! The boy energetically gestures as he speaks, bubbling with joy. With those words, Sachi gently hands the cat in her arms over to the boy. Aww. <laughs> the boy pets the kitten's head gently, just as Sachi had before. She watches the two of them quietly. That, that would be weird. <laughs> oh, that would, that would be... Hang on, that would be kind of weird. It's like... I, I'm assuming this kid is like 8 or 10, and then he's just inviting this high school girl over because of the cat. That would be... Kids got game. Oh, Nei-chan doesn't necessarily mean sister. Kids would address any older girl that way. That's right, I'm mixing that up with Oh, Nei-chan. My bad. Whoops. Okay, maybe not every day. The boy pounds a hand against his chest, speaking with forceful confidence. <laughs> That's us! You could have left out the evil looking part. I'm guessing Yuji has a scary default face. <laughs> the boy cradles the cat carefully in his arms and dashes back out into the main street. It's kind of like me. My my default face is like angry. <laughs> Even if I'm not I'm very rarely angry. That's just how my face looks. That's too bad, Sachi. <laughs> I could tell Sachi was disappointed she didn't get to keep the cat. I'm not sure why I would compliment you at the end, but let's leave that aside for the moment. Deep down, you wanted to keep that kitten yourself, didn't you? Knew it. Therefore, 
That's too bad. With that curt reply, Sachi slowly begins to walk away. <laughs> we are definitely on the Sachi route with the heart <laughs> transition. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Maybe we're not on the Sachi route. <laughs> Can't say I've ever consciously classified myself as such. But I guess I'll have to take your word for it, Sachi. <laughs> yeah, Yuji might be a little bit of a sadist. Say what? What the heck is this? Did a classmate just confess to me? Specifically about awakening to sexual deviancy? What? No. What are you even talking about, Yuji? Why? Ah. Well, it was obvious that Sachi was fond of the animal, after all. Aww. I can't tell if this is leading to the Sachi route or not. I feel like it would definitely lead towards it more than not helping her out would. That a fact? Hi. Sachi begins to walk more briskly, seemingly unable to say any more. No matter how much she hides it behind words and logic, having something she loves taken away from her must be a bitter experience. If I was able to take some of the edge off of that pain, I guess even the most whimsical of tailing missions might have meeting in their own right. No, please don't tell me. No spoilers. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you'll never believe this, Sachi. Yumiko was spying and stalking on you earlier. Excellent. We're beginning covert surveillance. Follow my lead. <laughs> well, under certain circumstances, at least. <laughs> 